What's up guys, I'm Eric, and have you ever wanted a minimalist wallet that's personal, practical, and appealing? Well this is the Mark Wallet, by Modest Mark. So this is a prototype, and I luckily got the chance to work with Alfonso himself and receive the Mark Wallet. So this is the Mark Wallet by Modest Mark, and some background on the company Modest Mark is that they're three friends from Singapore, and um, they have this design principle of one thing less, or OTL, and that's one thing less to carry around and one thing less to worry about. So since this company has this design principle to begin with, their products that come after that definitely reflect um, that idea and so while there are lots of minimalist wallets and my YouTube channel has seen a lot of minimalist wallets this one definitely has some things over the others because of this initiative in innovation in the whole company themselves so on modestmark.com underneath the description of this wallet they describe it as handsome minimalist wallet designed for everyday carry Asian uniquely as the leather takes on your personal patina, and that the Mark wallet is slim, designed to carry your most essential cards, cash, and keys. So they have um, a good design choice and materials by the fact that it has an aging patina sort of thing because of their crazy horse leather, which I'll get to, and they also talk about how it's slim and essential because they have that design initiative in them. So they have both aspects of design covered they have the practicality and the appeal of design in this wallet so this wallet is made of crazy horse leather uh, which is also known as distressed leather or um, saddleback leather because back when they would make um, saddles for horses they would be made with by the certain material uh, a certain design process uh, that creates the leather which creates it distressed leather or crazy horse leather and basically what the distress implies is that through your use and you owning your wallet it will create certain looks um, and age according to how you use it so you can see that I can scratch that and I have my Andar wallet here which is just like black camel cow leather I'm not sure um, it could be synthetic altogether, I forgot. I'll have a link to this website, uh, this company. But if you scratch it, there's no color difference. And uh, it kind of just makes a wear and eats away at this material. And yet this is leather and this is leather. And it's more of the way that this is produced with oils and pressed in so that it can create these scratches. But you might think, oh, that's going to be terrible with something else in your pocket but small things like this will go away but they will stay temporarily but anything after a little while will entirely disappear which makes uh, one to create this sort of leather it's a process in and of itself but then also they made it to um, have this unique yet subtle minimalist personal wallet um, as their front piece for the mark wallet and um, so if you fold the leather, if you get rid of your cards or whatever, and if you were to fold the leather in certain spots, it will get lighter um, and darker, and again, they will rub out. But it just ages really uniquely, and this is a, a more popular trend as we're coming in to have distressed leather. A lot of bags right now are distressed leather. A lot of camera, a lot of DSLR um, neck things are made of distressed leather, just because of the uniqueness of it but it's still minimalist and traditional leather so i think the mark wallet does a really good job of mixing this classic um traditional leather and even um distressed leather with their um 900d polyester fabric base uh with rfid blocking uh protection um, they do a good mix of the two in this one slim package so it gets an A plus in the design, d direct appeal of design. Now also with the actual practicality of design, um, it's made with smartness in mind. 
And so you do have a keychain holder, which is nice. You have one less thing to carry, like a, your own keychain. You can just throw it on here um, and have that done. But also, one thing I noticed after using this for a little while is that with, I'll drop something. With my old wallet, the Andar wallet, the pockets are vertical, right? And I didn't think much of this until I started using the mark for a little while, but whenever I would take this in and out, I realized after having this one that um, it's you have much less area to grab the card and pull it out, and also you don't have a pusher, which my elephant wallet had, my uh, the ridge wallet had, they had a pusher thing, but those were made of steels and carbon fiber but this one is made of softer materials um leather and polyester and so uh it's kind of different but anyways so this one didn't have a pusher of any sort and also it was done vertically which is all kind of okay sort of things but then with the ridge wallet it has this money clip that's removable and it creates this bulge in the leather and i realized that it would hit when I was taking a card out, one, it would be difficult to take out, um, and also it would hit that ridge, which made it even more difficult to remove. Now, with the Mark Wallet, it's all one seamless, it's all one seamless canvas um, of a wallet. It's really thin all the way around. There's no uh, particular extrusions in the design of it, and you also have um, this push piece, and it's horizontal, so that's the main thing. There's no things getting in the way of the card. It's horizontal, so you have a lot of grip on the card, and also you have this pusher to pull the card, to push the card. So um, it's just way more easy to remove cards um, than it was on this. And I and I liked this one, it was good. But this brings it up to a, another level. And so you have the thumb, it's horizontal, so you can get a good grip on it. And then there's also nothing up here to get in the way of pulling the card out. So it's really easy, um, I don't know, I just really like that it's in landscape you have this thumbs thing and it's like a seamless body i think it's just a really good minimalist wallet you can't overlook these things because the, there's so many minimalist wallets uh in the game right now that you got to start really realizing um the design choices that they make and while this isn't a big deal um this one is better and so we should appreciate that um that it's easier to take cards out of this one than it is on this one. So also a lot of minimalist wallets right now don't put too much consideration into the fact that people still use cash and sometimes still have receipts. Now while minimalists um, don't want to carry all those all the time, for me I like to make sure I have an account of all my receipts so sometimes I will keep my receipt um, and I'll store it up there in my closet and also sometimes I'll carry cash. I have an emergency 20 all the time. Um, and so some wallets completely skimp out and don't think about um, where they're gonna put their cash. And so it ends up being this really cheap money clip on the back of a wallet that completely ruins the aesthetic. Like on my Ridge wallet, it was like, it was just like a last second thought. They're like, oh wait, we need cash also. So they would kind of just plop something on there and that r ruined kind of the design. And some I've seen some wallets that don't have any any sort of uh, integration for cash, and so with this they have a cash through pocket. So the entire wallet, so twenty, uh, where my cash is, and so the entire wallet is a through pocket for cash and receipts. So um, while you're mainly going to be using your cards with the modern minimalist. They're gonna be using cards more than anything, but if you still carry cash or want uh, some receipts or something, uh, you can you still have that option and it's a uh, very discreet, uh, it's very clean looking. You kind of forget you have cash, but then you know it's there because it's a small wallet. You don't have a bunch of other stuff to get distracted by. So I think it's a really smart um, thing, the way that they integrated it. I don't have any gripes with this wallet. I think it's a really clean design. It's practical, appealing, and personal. The Mark has a Kickstarter campaign and it is 162% successfully funded and um, they still have 34 days to go, or at least as of when I was writing the script, they're 162% successfully funded. So they already passed their goal. Um, so that kind of shows, uh, on the website they describe some more things, 
um, stuff like that, or on the Kickstarter campaign, uh, they talk about their story, their design process, uh, one thing less kind of design principle. And so if you go to Kickstarter and back them, you get uh, exclusive offers and specials and bundles depending on how much you contribute. But uh, you should definitely check out their campaign and back them on Kickstarter. If you don't know what Kickstarter is, it's a, I don't know if it's a website, but it's a, it's a place where um, companies can put their products uh, to get funded and helped uh, and those people who do get special offers and uh, newer versions or th they're released to them earlier than the er than the final product but it is a final product they just get it earlier it's like a limited offer kind of thing for people who back their products and so the mark wallet is being done through Kickstarter so I'll have a link to their campaign you go check them out and back them I totally would I would totally purchase one uh, to pick one up if I didn't already have one. So a final recap on my initial impressions of this wallet. While it is a prototype, everything is the same except for this fabric will be uh, 900D polyester, which is going to be stronger and more rugged, which which is how he described it to me to be, the newer version. Uh, but besides that, it's the final product, and so it's personal because of the crazy horse leather and um, its special design attributes of such leather. It's practical because they keep this landscape design with no extrusions on the body and a nice slit for you to take your cards out. And it's also appealing because the final product looks nice and you can have a couple different color options uh, for being personal but also subtle. So this is a great wallet, totally recommend it, would get it if I didn't already have one of my own. Um, and so big thanks to Modest Mark for uh, sending this one out and they actually um, sent us a couple more so we will be having a giveaway so make sure you check uh, the description for information on how to enter so huge thanks to Modest Mark for making this video possible and giving us uh, an abundance for giveaways so that's gonna be hyped make sure you go check out their website and their campaign for more ways to enter um, their giveaways and then I'll be hosting my own giveaway here and it's just gonna be a good time with some good products and some good people in Singapore uh, yeah good stuff good wallet and I would definitely recommend it the mark wallet better wallet than the one you own so that was it for this uh, review of the mark wallet thanks for watching and have a blessed day